Hey YouTube, it's the Infinite Draw here, and today I thought I'd make a video of uh, the two latest smartphones that I've purchased, and sort of just give an idea of uh, what I think about them. It's not really a review or anything like that, but just sort of like a comparison. So they are the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Nexus, as you can see from the uh, boxes there. And then here are the uh, phones themselves. Uh, this is the international version of the Galaxy S3, so it has a quad-core processor, uh, one gig of RAM, and it runs on HSPA+. So uh, it's different from the the one you would find in North America, so Canada, America, and um, basically that one has a dual-core processor, 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon, and this is an Exynos processor, uh, quad-core versus dual-core. And this is the uh, GSM version of the Galaxy Nexus. It has um, a dual core 1.2 gigahertz TI OMAP processor and um, one gig of RAM. They both have one gig. Uh, so there's that. Uh, let me just turn these on. So they are. This is running um, Ice Cream Sandwich version 4.04. .04. And the Galaxy Nexus is currently running uh, Jelly Bean, so it's a version uh, one, oh, sorry, four point one one. And um, so the first thing I'd like to talk about, uh, also this has the case in case you're wondering why it's sitting on the table weird. Anyways, so uh, I think I'll talk about the Nexus first. Uh, the Galaxy Nexus with uh, Jelly Bean is an incredible phone. The upgrade from Ice Cream Sandwich is just incredible. Trying to compare uh, Ice Cream Sandwich on this system. Whoops. Sorry, I'm looking through the camera, so it's a little bit weird. Uh, so comparing the Ice Cream Sandwich that on the Nexus to Jelly Bean, it's like a whole different... Well, it pretty much is like a whole different experience. It's way smoother. There's pretty much no lag. Uh... Sorry. Yeah, there's no lag. It's uh, super quick. And uh, it, it basically feels like a whole new phone with this upgrade. The, um, the Galaxy S3 is still running Ice Cream Sandwich here. But uh, it's pretty much just as smooth as the Nexus. And I think that's more a testament to how... Um, how powerful this phone is. The quad-core processor is just a beast, so I can only imagine how much nicer it would be uh, once this gets Jelly Bean, which I think it's um, rumored to get sometime in August or September, so not too far from now. Uh, but it's already super fast, so I can only imagine uh, what it's going to be like when um, uh, it comes out, Jelly Bean comes out for that phone. But yeah, so just go through a couple of things that I like about each phone. Um, the, with Jelly Bean, I think the whole interface just looks sleeker, especially in the notification tray here. This whole, it just looks so much nicer now, and you have the expandable, I don't think this is expandable, it's not, but, uh, so you, let's see here, um, the, uh, notifications just look so crisp, I really like the design, it's very sleek, and... It just looks nice. Um, let me see here. Also, the animations are super smooth now. So when you close down things, it's really hard to tell on this camera, I think. But everything just, it's super smooth. There's no more lag or anything like that. And, um, of course, you have the new Google uh, voice command search, which is way, way better than uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. It's super fast, and it's... Um, it just, it's super fast, that's what the cool thing about it. S-Voice, which is sort of like Siri for the S3, um, and Siri itself are pretty slow when you ask them questions. It usually takes a couple minutes, not a couple minutes, what am I saying? A couple seconds to answer your question, whereas um, Google will do it really quickly. So let me just do sort of uh, an example. What's the weather like? It's 20 
24 degrees and clear in Toronto. Here's the forecast for the next few days. So yeah, I live in Toronto, so now you know. But yeah, see how quickly that came up? Um, I can do the same thing on S Voice, and it's not going to take too much longer, but it's just way snappier on uh, the new Google Voice search. So to get S Voice, you double tap. Button. What's the weather like? Here is the weather for King City, Ontario. So that was actually surprisingly fast, but sometimes when you ask it uh, more complicated questions, it uh, slows down a little. Also, one thing, one benefit, I don't know if you would call it a benefit, but like sort of one thing that Siri and S Voice have over Google Now is, um, it's not really a benefit, it's kind of stupid, but like when you want to play around with your phone and just ask it dumb questions, Google Now doesn't really have like the sort of the capacity to like answer stupid questions so you can ask like the S voice too so just say hi galaxy tell me a joke tell me what type of animal needs oil a mouse because it squeaks so yeah it can it can uh reply to stupid questions like that whereas google doesn't uh doesn't do that so if i go to here tell me a joke See, it just takes you to a Google search of uh, tell me a joke. So, can and do those kind of things, but it is really fast and it's pretty cool. So, uh, another thing that I like uh, on the S3 versus the Nexus is uh, notifications. While I think that the Nexus looks smoother and just more sleek, I like that uh, the S3 has this sort of, um, this these toggles here. So you can just turn on Wi-Fi, GPS, all that stuff really quickly whereas you would need a widget it's a stock widget but you would need a widget for the Nexus so there's that um, also there's some features that the S3 has that are pretty cool um, if you want to hide applications say I don't want um, I don't know let's just say I don't want more services right there more services you just press the menu button here and there's an option for hide applications or show hidden applications if you've already hidden stuff so you hit hide applications and then you can just uh, mark off which ones you don't want and that's pretty uh, I like that feature because sometimes you have a bunch of apps that are in your tray that you don't like also um, another thing I like and this is also small but for this one if you keep scrolling it keeps uh, it loops around so it never scrolls over to widgets unless you tap widgets over here and then there it just loops around uh, widgets so I like that as opposed to uh, the Nexus's Nexus, Nexi, Nexi, whatever you'd call it uh, the Nexus where it just scrolls through the widgets and then uh, all the way back, you have to scroll all the way back which is the same thing as uh, on the home as well, on the home screen. On the Galaxy S3 it loops, but on the, the uh, Nexus you have to go all the way back and forth. Uh, I think one, thre uh, one, thing, <laughs> one thing that sort of betrays uh, the weaker processor on the Nexus is if you start scrolling really quickly into the widgets, uh, the widgets don't load instantly. It's it's a really small nitpicker. It's not even a problem, but I'm just saying like if you scroll really quickly, you can see that there's like black squares, as opposed to, and it takes like a moment for them to load. It's all it's a really stupid thing I know, but just thought I'd mention it. Also, one thing I like on the Nexus, and I don't know if you can do this on the S3 without rooting it or anything like that. So if anyone knows, you know, tell me. But um, I like that the, you can have your wallpaper scroll here. So I have a big one piece wallpaper and then you can go through all the characters whereas on the uh, S3 it's just uh, the apps scroll but the background is sort of uh, stationary so there's that um, one other thing that I really like on the S3 and this is just what happens when you have uh, an overlay is the task manager if you open up task manager here you have a remove all button right there and you don't have that on the Nexus which is kind of annoying if I want to if I have a huge list of 
uh, open applications, if I want to close them, I have to go through one by one and swipe them away, whereas it's way more convenient here. You can remove all, and then you can also go to Task Manager if you want and clear your memory or see if there's any hidden applications open. So that's way, uh, way more useful, I think. And uh, one thing I think they should put in the uh, next version of, uh, what do you call it, uh, stock Android. So there's that. Um, as for screens, they're both 720p screens. Uh, the Nexus is 4.65 inches versus 4.8 inches on the S3. I feel like they're both incredible screens. I feel like um, the Galaxy S3 screen is a little bit better though. Because when you're looking at a really white, yeah, that's, uh, sorry. When you're looking at really white uh, so, sort of images or photos that you take uh, on this screen, you can sort of see the grain. And people are going to blame that on the uh, Pentile Matrix display. But uh, So yeah, that is probably the problem. But it, it's not a problem per se. But it is slightly more noticeable here versus the uh, S3 where I actually literally can't see uh, the pixels. Not the pixels, the grain. Uh, on the white images, so that's cool. Um, I think that pretty much covers most of what I wanted to say. Uh, I think I'll finish off by doing a quadrant test just for fun. Not that quadrant is the most accurate thing in the world, but it's still pretty cool for a comparison. Uh, try to hit them at the same time. Ready, set. Yep, there you go. So, you can see the uh, S3 is kind of smoking the Nexus in the CPU section. That's kind of to be expected with a quad core Exynos processor versus the uh, TIO map. I got the uh, Nexus back when it came out, and um, I got the S3 fairly recently, like a month ago. I got the 16 gigabyte version, and then it uh, it broke. All right, so sorry, the S3 is already done. Send results. Um, yeah, so it broke, and uh, so I returned it, and I got. The 32 gigabyte version, so this is a 32 gigabytes internal, and uh, yeah, I probably I might I wanted to wait around to play with Jelly Bean a little bit, so I kept my Nexus, but I may sell it. But uh, so far, I'm still playing around with it. All right, and the Nexus is done. All right, so whoops, the Galaxy S3 got 5,480. Uh, last time I did this, it got 5,700 something, but yeah, 5,480, and the Nexus got 2,162. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, we can try one more test. And 2,2. I think I have N2,2 on both of them. It's weird that the scores change so often. For example, the first time I did N22, I got 12,000 on the S3, and I got 5,000 on the Nexus, but then I did them again, I got 9,000 and 4,181. So, I don't know what's up with that. Try to hit these two at the same time. Okay. Oh god, no, whoops. Okay, well, I hit the S3 a little bit sooner. Sorry about that. Like a second sooner. Yeah, so this is 32 gigabyte, this is 16 gigabyte for the Nexus. Uh, I also have a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in here, so it's 64 gigs versus 16 gigs. And uh, you can't really expand Nexus phones, which is kind of crappy, but whatever. That's what the price you have to pay for getting stock Android and uh, the quickest updates. Hmm. 
<laughs> Surprisingly, the uh, Nexus is actually pretty close to the S3, despite me hitting the S3 a second uh, sooner. I think they'd pretty much be at, uh, on par if I had hit them at the same time. So S3 is getting 60, Nexus is getting 58, and the Swirly Demon Portal. I don't know why the S3 is glitching out and it's all blue. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. Mm. Pretty much the same frame rates. Longer one, eh? Do, 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 do. Alright, see, this time I got 12,155, whereas you guys saw it was like 9,000 something last time. Uh, and the Nexus should be finishing soon ish. And there you go, 5,000 this time again on the thing. So, yeah, it's more than double. Processor is like more than triple. The RAM, or sorry, the GPU is about the same. The RAM is way higher on the uh, S3, or it's way more optimized because they both have one gig of RAM. And the IO is a bit higher on the S3. So, yeah, uh, that was my S3 sort of comparison uh, against the uh, Nexus. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment down below on which phone you guys prefer. Do you prefer a uh, Yes, three, or do you like vanilla Android? So uh, leave a comment about that. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later.